Hey Sagittarius. All right, so what I was getting for you guys. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, a Cancer, or an Aquarius, you could be getting clarity on whatever. Like if you're wondering something or you need to tell them something, I feel like there's gonna be clarity around the situation with that person. Also, I'm getting an energy of returning to the past or the past returning. However that resonates for you, you could be getting a message um, from somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be a love interest, it could be a friend or whoever. But also, I was getting the phrase money luck. So maybe you got money coming in. Maybe your check's going to be bigger this week. Maybe go pick up a lottery ticket. Whatever that means. I was getting luck and money. So, um, so far we have the Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles. That's too many. And the Queen of Wands. So this is you. This is kind of what I was getting before. I don't feel like this King of Pentacles is a person. I feel like this is you really bringing in stability maybe moving on from something or moving forward towards something that brings you a lot of stability or you're starting something it's like, it almost feels like if you were to start a business or you were to start a youtube channel you would get really lucky and it would grow extremely quickly and you would start making money like almost as if you just got lucky that this whatever it is is moving this fast as being this successful so if you were thinking about um doing something like that now is definitely the time so yeah eight of swords holding back this could be holding back communication from a person or this could be just holding back in general it could be definitely holding back from walking away from something six of swords moving on from something or um starting something so eight of swords is like self-fear Whatever you're holding back from, don't because it's going to, if it's a business, definitely do not hold back because it's going to be um, very, very successful very quickly. So, two of wands, this could be a person. You could have two people that you're choosing from. This could be the other person, but I'm kind of feeling that maybe there's, you know, eight of cups, there's someone that you want to walk away from. And I feel like you could be scared to walk away from it. We also have two eights here. Eight, eight means abundance. So definitely abundance coming in for you. But somebody can be scared to walk away from a situation. Could be with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, two of pentacles. You're deciding. I feel like deciding whether to walk away or not. Page of Cups. Yeah, you definitely could. There could be two people that you could be juggling in your mind. You could have got an offer. Page of uh, Page of Cups. This could be an offer from the past. Could be from a Libra as well. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Money. But <laughs> you guys are getting some sort of buddy like I really if there are any drawings around you like if you're walking down the mall and there's a drawing for a new car do it because you might just get it like I'm really feeling luck around you guys which you guys are a very lucky sign so I'm not surprised but use that especially this month like my readings are not month or time specific at all but use that right now go pick up a lottery ticket or something like shit Clarify the Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Swords here for Sagittarius? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about what, like, I almost feel like, what's your next move? Could be in this relationship, what's the next move? I really feel like it's a relationship. We have the um, Lovers with the King of Swords, could be done with the Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Hmm. Yeah, there could be... Okay, something that you were unaware about. There could be a secret you need clarity on. I feel like you're going to get this clarity. It's stressing you out. And I feel like you refuse to stress anymore. But for some reason, 
there's a fear around walking away. This could be someone fearing to walk away from you. They could be fearing that you're going to walk away from them. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Mm. Five of Wands. Could be done with the Leo. But conflict. Something around the... I feel like there's something that you were unaware about. There's a secret. And it's causing conflict. Clarify the Five of Wands. Yeah, the strength card definitely could be done with the Leo. But, um, yeah, I, f I feel like you could also, okay, there's so many things happening here. If there is someone at work that there's, you could feel that there's kind of secret animosity between you guys, there is. Like, if you are unaware of this, this person could be jealous, this person could be something. But if this is a relationship... I feel like someone's trying to get the strength or be brave enough to tell you something or this could be you. Someone is scared to tell you how they truly feel. Now, if you're already dating, maybe there's something bothering them. If they don't, if they don't want to tell you or this could be you not wanting to tell them this. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, you're holding back, Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back, and I'm feeling like it's some communication. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So, there's something about a relationship that is stressing you out. It could be someone from the past maybe coming back to stress you out. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, and Nine of Swords. There's something... I feel like somebody feels anxiety around. So, I, and I feel like it's because there's something that you don't know about. It could be giving you anxiety or giving the person anxiety that you're dealing with. If you're keeping a secret from them, it's they're on to it. They just don't know what it is. It could be causing issues in the relationship. Clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands. Mm, yeah. Seven of Swords. Someone, you might not be telling someone your next move or someone's not telling you their next move. It could be done with a Pisces or a Cancer. Someone with strong signs that are like intuitive in their chart. Because it's like the second that you were uncertain, even though you didn't say anything, they were onto it that something was wrong. So now it's like really causing conflict because they know that something's wrong or this could be you that knows that something's wrong. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Star card could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, it's, uh, somebody's being fake. Like, literally, the Seven of Swords with the star, this is fake to me. It's like the star, she's naked because she always tells her truth, always her, her authentic self. But paired with the Seven of Swords, somebody is being real fake. by the star with the seven of swords see what that's about oh i don't like that <laughs> lover's card just showed itself to me definitely could be a relationship that you're in yeah seven of cups with the high priestess your intuition is telling you what is going on you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius the king of swords at the bottom of the deck something is going on somebody is being fake and your intuition is already onto it you know exactly what's going on still confused of course but your intuition is like screaming at you like bitch this is what's going on so clarify the eight of cups you might end up walking away from the situation okay yeah eight of wands there could be travel involved maybe you guys live um, a long or a short distance from each other but you could be walking away from this or telling this person like i'm walking away from what's going on or like i'm done Clarify the Two of Pentacles. This could be a friend also. Doesn't have to be a relationship. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Mm, yeah. Ace of Swords. Could be dealing with the Aries or an Aries sign. We deal with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. The, 
you're getting clarity, which brings balance to, I feel like, you. But this is, somebody's going to tell someone something, or you are going to find out about something. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Mm. Queen of Wands. This could be... Someone is either finding out something about you or you're finding out something about a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Hmm. Clarify the Page of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nine of Cups in the reverse. You could be getting some information that you don't want to hear, but with this High Priestess, I'm feeling like you already knew. Or this could be vice versa. You could be telling someone something that they don't want to hear. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. It's like after all this fuckery, abundance comes in. So, it's a, this could happen. Like, I'm not going to ever say never. But it's like, you can find out somebody is being fake to you like a friend say a friend's being fake and they're talking all this shit behind your back trying to turn people against you and then you're like okay walk away from it you go win the lottery like it's like that type of situation you deal with some fuckery and then something amazing happens or say you get out of a relationship your relationship's going south you decide to walk away perfect person comes in like it's like really weird but it's good and bad at the same time so, clarify the ace of pentacles Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm, yeah, the Magician. You're manifesting this. I feel like this, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, is already in the works. And you're about to be extremely happy. So this is almost like seems... Once this comes in, this is going to seem like not a big deal. You're literally going to laugh about what this is. If you've lost, you had to lose friends over what was going on. You're like, whatever, because you're manifesting amazing shit. And you're about to be extremely emotionally satisfied pretty much then we have justice here so this is like just like karma i guess so these people are going to get what they deserve if this is a group of people this is a person whoever they're going to get what they deserve and you're going to get what you deserve which is the ten of cups so it could become a form of relationship but i'm really feeling like it's coming in the form of money so anyway i'm gonna pull some advice we definitely need some advice for this one what is the advice oh hello for Sagittarius. Universe, what is the advice for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Oh, hello. Six of Wands. I'm feeling like with this as advice, is one, keep your eye on the prize. And I'm just noticing how these people are all looking at him, all maybe even judging him, but he's not looking at them at all, not paying any type of attention. So that's definitely the advice. Five of Wands, this is a jealous energy. So this is a group of friends that you're dealing with. Just know that they're jealous. Okay. Yeah, the tower. Allow. Be open to all of this new information so the shit's not happening behind your back anymore. It's almost like embrace this tower because it's leading you straight to success. So don't let it get you too down. I mean, obviously this is going to be upsetting, but don't allow it to get you down because this is like right around the corner. This is what you get for learning this lesson. It's almost like a reward for learning the lesson. So anyway, I hope this was a good reading for you, Sagittarius. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. Enjoy the rest of your week.